This is Paranormal Short Session 6 by Keith Evans at home with the <clears throat> Envoy Ghost Box. Today I'd like to ask the ghost or spirit that had chosen the word PX if he or she is available to come back and choose some more words. I already got it set at uh, 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock and I'm going to be using the touch method that a ghost or spirit can use to choose each letter. And I got it on the slowest possible. You see here, rabbit speed is when the selection goes around the uh, alphabet in a very fast mode. You see the little white. It's at very slow, so a ghost of spirit does not have to be extraordinary fast to choose the proper letter to spell out the word that they want to choose. You don't only have to choose acronyms. You can choose, like if you want to say uh, fire, my house was on fire. You could just choose fire and then house. And we pretty much get the meaning from the noun or pronoun that you, uh, you know, utilize. If you died in World War II, you just put uh, deaf then WW22 or WW, you know, then two ones is the Roman numeral for two, or I guess you could say two Ys, capital Ys. Anyway, you get the uh, you get the picture of ghosts of spirits, but I only want one or ghost spirit talking at a time. And by what I mean by talking is choosing letters. Otherwise, it gets so chaotic and confusing that I don't know what you're trying to spell out. So, all right, my question today is: Tell me more about the PX. Again, my name is Keith Evans. Uh, my paranormal short session can be found on uh, YouTube. The channel name is Paranormal Short Sessions by Keith Evans. I'm going to be placing uh, this footage on social media and YouTube. Uh, bits and pieces of it on social media, probably at least photos. But definitely the entirety will be on YouTube. So, if you're a ghost of spirit and you're shy and don't want uh, the words you choose to be on that uh, social media platform, then uh, please don't choose any words. If you don't mind or you have a message to uh, send to me or anyone else out there, then uh, start choosing some words. And I'm sure there's going to be a learning curve. I'm sure that any... Ghost or spirit courageous enough to try a new piece of equipment like the Envoy Ghost Box may find it difficult to learn. You know, you might make mistakes and misspell words or not spell any words that we understand in the English language because it's going to take you time to learn how to use the Ghost Box. Some people think ghosts or spirits know everything and they're just like people. They have the same personality that they passed away with. And I guess if they learn something, it's because they're motivated to uh, communicate with the living. So I challenge any ghost or spirit that wants to step up and give it a try. Uh, give it a try. If... Uh, the ghost or spirit that chose the acronym PX, which stands for Post Commissary or Post Exchange. If they're not here, then I like to just have one ghost or spirit, uh, you know, choose some letters to create a word. Now, if I'm wrong, if it takes 
multiple ghosts and spirits for this piece of equipment to work, well then, multiple ghosts and spirits go for it. If that's what it takes to choose each letter, but get together on what word you're trying to spell out. Okay? Thank you, ghosts and spirits. appreciate your cooperation. Well, we're five, five into it, and it's turned where in the past I've got at least one, one uh, letter. All right, maybe I should increase it to see if, I don't really know what I'm increasing other than the sensitivity of being able to be touched. That's what I understand it to be. Meaning that you might have to really hit it hard with a lot of energy to choose. You can see where it's at. It's almost at 11. Probably between 10 and 11 on the dial. And then here would be, what, 4 and 5. So let's go up to definitely 11. 11, this was the face of a clock, this would be 11, and this would be about 5. See if that helps. Well, I'd rather be, I'd rather have the piece of equipment work like this, where I'm not just getting constant, random, nonsensical letters, and most of them constants at the end of the uh, alphabet, because that doesn't help me a darn bit. So now... As you can see, it's been on for close to seven minutes, and I haven't gotten one word. You see where I have it turned to. And my speed is slow, because fast is over here, and slow is over there, where you see the little white tab that hits, like the little indicator. So it's slow enough that any ghost spirit should have time to choose a letter. All right, if there's a, no ghost of spirits that know anything about the PX, that was here on Camp Gordon Johnson back during World War II. I believe Camp Gordon Johnson was here from like 1942 to 1945. So <clears throat> if uh, there is anyone here uh, that... Uh, would like to send a message to a loved one or to me. Um, please choose a word. <clears throat> one letter at a time, of course. And you have to use the tapping uh, method. Well, maybe the Ghost of Spirit's energy is down, so let's turn the sensitivity up so they can actually use less energy. If they use up all their energy before they get a whole word spilt, we're not gaining anything. We're not using effective communication. So I'm willing to turn this up as far as it'll go right now. Now we're at like 1 o'clock, uh, 7 o'clock. Now we're going to go to a little past 2 Probably around 2.30 and we got our first word. We had HP, Q, R, S, T. Okay. A Q... QRST and cardiac rhythms. Ah, I'm trying to think. QRST. There's a certain complex. QRS. I think it's called QRS complex. Zab, Z A B E, Zab B. Getting a couple of valves. 
But now it just seems like it's rapid fire, turning it up at that, at that sensibility. But I'm not noticing any words. Everything up there now is a constant. M N R T F G H I. There is I. There is one vowel. J L K L. And now it's stopped. So that, that's the sensibility right at level there. It's almost at three o'clock. Three o'clock six. Uh, Three o'clock, uh, nine o'clock. On the dial of the clock. Let's see if we have any words here. M N R T S T C D E K O L or S. Dios, Dios. Is D-E-O-S uh, a Spanish word? Does anyone know? I'm not good at Spanish. Um, if you're good at Spanish and if Dios means something in Spanish, please uh, leave me a comment and let me know. Well, that's the closest thing today to a word. D-E-O-S and then on the other end is a U. At least we're getting more valves chosen. D E O S U. If there's anyone that sees words uh, somehow say consonants without vowels, you know, let me know if you. Uh, or better at figuring this out. <laughs> now we got E O S U A in the last five letters, four valves. We got an O N O P. Nope. I've got nope a lot, like someone say no. Nope. N O P A Nopa is Nopa a Spanish word N O P A Or is that just someone saying Nopa? I don't uh, understand that. Nopa. Maybe it's just extended slang for no. Uh, B J D J uh, DJ, or is it BJ? It's like BJ. Got BJ twice. Is that the initials of your name? Uh, unless they're being uh, slangish in another direction, which we won't go there. Since this is a family show. Well... We're coming up on 15 minutes. Uh, use your energy to only choose words. Uh, if you have to choose Spanish words, like I say, I, I don't know Spanish that well. So Oh, it's pretty much stopped. Well, this has been Paranormal Short Session 6 by Keith Evans at home with the brand new Envoy Ghost Box by Ghost Stop there in St. Cloud, Florida. Uh, today we've had the turn to sensi sensitivity up, which to me is probably the less sensi less energy that the ghost has to use to, you know, use the tap mode, which is this right here that we're on. 
And uh, then I started just getting a lot of random words. Mostly constants, but some vowels. There was like a line where there was like five vowels out of like maybe seven or eight letters, which is nice to get some vowels. Because you can't spell a word without some vowels. You know, there might have been some acronyms like... Uh, um, maybe the initials BJ and uh, I thought at first it might have been a DJ but I think it's BJ and then there's at least no there or no pa so anyway um, today is the 31st of May 2022 it is a Tuesday I appreciate everyone who watches my videos and uh, just ask you to uh, like, to subscribe, and please leave a comment. Thank you. This has been Keith Evans. Have a good day.